Hello, uh, my name is Don, and uh, this is my new YouTube channel. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, but never really got around to doing it. Um, but recently, with some things that have happened, things are going on, and with a lot of encouragement from my wife, I've decided to go ahead and try this. Uh, this is all new for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. So please bear with me. Um, this first video, not really much. Just want to introduce myself a little bit, get yourself out there, what this whole video is going to be about, what the channel is going to be about. And then from there, I will probably do another videos two, three times a week maybe um, with updates and stuff like that. So let's get started. So anyways, my name is Don. Um, I go by Big D on YouTube and Facebook, Twitter, and all of those other things. Um, my channel is called Hidden Treasures Entertainment. And basically, I love movies. I've been a big movie fan all my life. Uh, as far as I can remember, I remember being a kid and watching The Wizard of Oz every year with my mom. It was probably the first movie I remember seeing was was watching that with my mom and checking it out and loved it every year. It was one of those things like every year would come up around September, October. I, I it seemed to me I remember it was always around the time that uh, school was starting that it was always on. I loved it. But my biggest memory I remember of movies is the first is the first actual memory of going to the theater is when my mom took me to go see Jaws 2. Uh, I couldn't have been more than seven years old, I think, at the time. And it was PG, so she thought, hey, shouldn't be a problem, I'm going to do this. But, uh, yeah, it was Jaws 2. Um, and for a seven-year-old with a great white shark, although, you know, it was mechanical at the time, it didn't look mechanical, I was terrified. I mean, I remember coming out of the theater, and we went to a little restaurant afterwards, we went with a friend of hers, and I remember just thinking, there's a shark in my glass of water. And when I got in the bathtub when I was a kid, you know, I was always worried that down by the drain the shark was coming out. Or when I go swimming, the shark was going to come, come and get me, you know. But I, water scared me in general a lot. You know, going in the ocean, I get up to my, you know, my ankles and be like, nah, sharks. But, you know, looking back on that, that's really one of the reasons why I started to love movies so much. Because it, it, it invoked such a such an emotion out of me and you know it although it scared me over time now I, I've learned to love the movie obviously I'm a big fan of the Jaws series yeah some of them aren't as good as the other ones but you just can't you know take away that memory it was just so much fun and so much so much just I don't know I can't even describe it but um so that's my earliest memories of movies um I was born and raised in a, a town called Santa Cruz you might remember Santa Cruz is the filming location for The Lost Boys. Um, I was in junior high at the time. I was actually graduating from junior high. And our 8th grade graduation trip was actually to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk where they, it's featured heavily as Santa Carlo. Um, and I remember being there as a kid trying to go up through and see if we could see some of the action stuff like that while they were filming. They everything blocked off. They really didn't get to see much. But it was really cool to be down there and see all the sets set up and all the vehicles and all that stuff down there and all the just the hoopla with what was going on with that movie but then we filmed other movies here too killer Clowns from outer space and there was a movie with ben affleck i can't quite remember the name of it now it was filmed up at ucsc which is a big popular college around here but i was born and raised in santa cruz um and at one point i, I did run i don't know if you guys remember suncoast motion picture company i did run one of those stores for eight years um and had a blast doing it. I actually was a district manager for a while with them, too. Had a blast. It's all about movies. It's all I did was talk movies 24-7. Matter of fact, my mom uh, used to just was baffled because my brother and I have a younger brother. My brother and I, we could literally do movie quotes the whole time and have a full conversation with it. It's, it's been something we've been able to do since we were kids. But, and you know, I just, growing up, loving movies... You know, I remember getting HBO when I was a kid. My family getting HBO was amazing. I got to see movies at home and not to pay from the theaters. And I remember getting the first VCR. I remember the first VHS tape I bought, which was, uh, oh my gosh, it was Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. I got that one, and the next day I got Risky Business. It came in those old black clamshells. And then from there, I just started collecting movies. And my collection is pretty much out of control. I think my wife would describe it as out of control. I don't have a count of movies I don't know. A lot of movies are put away, unfortunately, because um, I just don't have the room in my house right now. I live in a one, little one-bedroom apartment with five people, so there's not a lot of room to uh, display my movies or put movies. I have a large collection. It's mostly DVD and Blu-ray, although recently I've gone back and started getting more VHS because I found that like I'm very nostalgic for VHS. Like I just want to watch it. I want to sit down and recreate those times I remember being a kid and my parents had a VCR they thought was broken. It wasn't. I took it in my room, and I hooked it up. It played fine. I started recording all these movies. I, I know my brother remembers this, like Teen Wolf and uh, 
oh gosh, what else? Pee Wee's Big Adventure and stuff, movies like that. You know, I record off HBO, record a lot of cartoons at the time too. But, um, you know, born and raised here, went to college at San Jose State, which is about 40 miles away, not even 40 miles, probably about 30 miles away from where I live. And I love it. And it's just the greatest thing in the world. But I decided through all this, and with great, like I said before, I got hit with my wife, I've decided that, you know, it's time to do a channel. It's time to start talking about movies. Uh, I know a few people that, that love movies, but not nearly as much as me. So I felt like it's time to get out there and discuss it and see if I can get an open conversation with people, see what people think. I have a very eclectic movie taste. Um, my favorite genres are horror and sci-fi. Um, I do like documentaries. I do like action flicks and comedy stuff like that too. Not a big fan on drama, especially rom-coms. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on rom-coms. My wife loves them. Uh-uh, no good. Nope, get out of here. But um, I will watch them on occasion though because it's something she, she enjoys. Um, but horror and sci-fi are my two biggest genres. However, my, the, the, I guess, I want to say entertainment-wise, what I love the most is Star Trek. I am an avid Star Trek fan, as you can see by my shirt. I am an avid Star Trek fan. And part of this channel will be, once Star Trek Discovery starts, I will be doing a weekly show recap of the, every episode of Star Trek Discovery to discuss it and see what it's like. I'm, I'm excited for the show, but I'm also really nervous because it's a, a lot different than Gene Roddenberry's creations for a lot of us, at least what I've seen so far. So I'm not really sure about it, how it's going to go or how it's going to play out. So I'm crossing my fingers. It's going to be a good show. Um, I do like the lead, Sneaker Martin Green. Green, uh, can't say it right. Was in The Walking Dead, which is another one of my all-time favorite shows. So, you know, I'm hoping with, with her backing it with Jason Isaacs. The guy's an amazing actor. And this is a shout-out to my, my brother-in-law. Of course, he was in Black Hawk Down. Um... But um, you know, it's just it's got a great cast and got a, you know, and I like I like the premise. I'm just hoping it stick it stays true to Star Trek and and it continues to go on. So I will be doing a weekly update. I believe the season starts September 25th. So look for episodes after that once the show starts. Um, I will be doing a lot of collection videos and I'll do videos on uh, uh, certain movies like when holidays roll around, my favorite holiday movies stuff like that. So be on the lookout for those too. And I will eventually be doing. Um, actual hunting videos where I'll go out and you'll watch me go to the Goodwills and other places I go to. I go to a lot of Goodwills. I go to a lot of, um, go to the flea market. We have a large flea market in this town for a, a former drive-in. It's now just a flea market. And I do a lot of other hunting around. So I will be doing videos of that. I just, I'm not quite ready to do those yet because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work those out yet. I need to ask a couple more questions. But, uh, that's it. You know, that's, that's me in a, in a nutshell. I love movies. I love talking about movies. I do love TV too, don't get me wrong. Some of my favorite shows, I just mentioned Star Trek, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. You know, let's 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 say it. TJ Hooker, love that show too. I wonder why. Um, but you know, I, I just want to get out there and get this out there for people to watch it. I encourage people to, you know, share the video, like it if you like it. If you don't, I understand. You know, not everybody might like might look at me and go, ooh, what the? You know, I get it. That's cool. But um, it's it's you know it's one of these things I'm really excited about doing. I'm really this is something that I haven't I haven't been too excited about a lot of things in a while, and this is really exciting me. And I'm I'm hoping for the best. I hope this all works out. I like again I'm really new with this, so it's still a learning process. But other than that, you know, actually let's do this. Let me do something here. Um, I did pick up a couple. It is my birthday today. So I felt that it was necessary to go ahead and start filming a little bit today. It's kind of an honorary day, I guess. But I did pick up a couple flicks. I went to the, uh, I'd never been to the uh, Goodwill in Scotts Valley. Scotts Valley is about 22 miles away from the house. So it's not too far. Um, in the in the area, we have, one, what, two in Santa Cruz, one in Capitola, one in Scotts Valley, now one in Watts. But we have a few Goodwills around, a few swap, swap meet type short stores around, you know. Um, so um, I did go. I did head out there today. A little bit of drive because a lot of traffic. The summertime, we're a big summer time. So what I did pick up is I picked up Mark for Death on VHS. Um, like I said earlier, I just started getting in back into VHS. So I picked this up, and I picked this up because come on, it's 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 Seagal and it's Mark for Death. I mean, the best quote I have is, you know, the Scroofius. Nobody messes with Scroofius. So I picked that up, and then I got. Um, let's see here. What else did I pick up? I didn't get that. Where's that one? I picked this up, and I know that if my brother watches this, I know he'll understand. But I got Mask Volume One. Okay, now 
This is an old TV show. It stands for Mobile Armored Strike Command, I believe it is. And it's about these vehicles that change. It was an 80s cartoon that was always on. My brother and I would record this off television. And I saw this today and I couldn't believe it. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So I picked it up. Uh, let's see here. Also, um, I got this movie called Blackfish. It's a documentary about Titicum, I think it was the name of the of the killer whale that was at the zoo. And he killed, he killed a couple people. And it was just basically a documentary about captivity these poor orcas and all the stuff that they go through and and just kind of how inhumane we are when we put these poor creatures in a in a in a, uh, a situation like they're put in and the mental stress they go through it's actually a really good i do recommend it. it's a really good documentary and then i picked up let's see here <laughs> 10 movie action pack it's sealed sealed with sealed brand new sealed um it has Let's see here, Logan's War, In Too Deep. I know that one has iced tea in it. No iced tea, but uh, Ella Cool Jam, sorry. Uh, Family of Cops, Ed McBain's 87% Lightning. I have no idea. Storm, Airline Disaster, Best of the Best, that warning. Of course, that's, I think that's the fourth one in the series of that one. Um, Zero Tolerance, Once a Thief, and Man with a Gun. Have no idea. I've I don't think I've seen any of these movies on here. So, but for three bucks, I figured not bad. Get get 10 movies free bucks not bad um and then i did pick up a couple other movies that were really no big deal but i did pick up this one at a local video store there in scotts valley um it's called it's uh the program and i kind of saw it at first and i thought wait a minute is that program from like the the 90s about the school with the uh, oh gosh uh what was that guy's name i know james calm was in it and I thought it was that. At first. I was looking at it going, what's this? But then I come to find out this movie's about uh, Lance Armstrong and the people that exposed him for being kind of a fraud and not really doing what he said he was doing. And kind of, you know, I'm not really sure how that all went down. I know that he was exposed. I believe they pulled his medals from him for winning those races. But uh, this is, uh, it's directed by Stephen Fears. Uh, Freas, I'm sorry. Free years. Sorry. Uh, he's the guy that did The Queen and Philonoma. Philonomania. Yeah, there we go. Um, but it, it's got Ben Foster, Chris O'Dowd, and I love both those actors, so I figured I'd pick it up. If any of you have seen this movie at all, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if it's any good or not. I mean, again, Ben Foster, I mean, come on. He's Mazursky. Um, you know, Ben Foster's an amazing actor. I don't think there's anything Ben Foster's ever done that I haven't really enjoyed. And Chris O'Dowd, come on, the IT crowd, you can't go wrong with that. An amazing show. There was that Moonbeam show he was on. It was really good. And really, I don't think I've seen anything Crystal Dow's ever done, at least I've seen anyways, that, that was bad. So I'm really excited about that. I think it should be a, a really good flick. Um, and also for that video store, I picked up, I can't believe I didn't own this, Escape from Witch Mountain. Escape 2, I'm sorry, Escape 2 Witch Mountain. I haven't seen this movie probably in, I don't know, 20, 30 years. I remember I loved it as a kid. So I'm excited about seeing it again. I picked it, I got three bucks at that video store. It's a good deal. And the last one I picked up was Sausage Party. I know, funny, weird movie, but it was actually really funny. There was some a lot of adult humor in there that I actually really enjoyed. So I liked it. Good flick. You know, you're gonna find out watching these videos. My, like I said, my my movie tastes are very eclectic. There's not a whole lot of movies I don't like, but when I don't like a movie, I really don't like it. So you're probably gonna be like, God, is there any movies you don't like? Yes, there are movies I don't like. Uh, one I can think of. Right off the top of my head is a movie called Millennium. It came out in the 80s. I had Chris Christopherson in it. That movie was so unbelievably bad that it took everything in me just to finish the movie. And I remember one point, this is way back in the day when it was still real, the real film. The camera tipped over midway through the movie and it was the most exciting part. <laughs> so, you know, there are movies I don't like out there. My wife will constantly criticize me of like... Is there a movie you don't like? You love everything. Yes, there are movies I don't like. And there's movies that I've watched that's like, yeah, it was good, but I probably will never watch it again. But I'm a big movie lover. As long as it entertains me and I've enjoyed it and I have something to talk about afterwards, I like it. So that in a nutshell is it. That is my first video. There will be plenty more to come. And I will, you know, and I will develop, uh, develop, oi. I will tell you a lot more about my life and things, and I probably will eventually do a video where I do shooting locations for a couple of movies that were filmed around here. Eventually, I just need to find some time to do that. But for now, 
that's the end of my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And um, if you really liked it and you want to subscribe and check out more of my videos, because I guarantee they will get better, um, please click the subscribe button. Until then, always keep hunting. And thank you very much. And one last thing I do want to say is a big thank you to my wife. If it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't even be even remotely close to doing something like this. She is my rock. She is my biggest supporter. She's my biggest fan. And she is just the most amazing woman that I've ever met in my life. I love her more than anything. She is absolute best. And because of her... I'm doing stuff like this, and I'm eternally grateful. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for everything. Until then, movie fans, always be out there hunting, always be out there looking, and I will see you soon. Bye.